This is uh, thermodynamics. And uh, a major question that we want to be able to answer when thinking about thermodynamics is whether or not, and how could we figure out if a reaction is spontaneous or not? All right, so what does a spontaneous reaction mean? Okay, so a spontaneous reaction is a reaction um, that, wait, I want to rewrite this. A chemical reaction that occurs without external energy. So it's going to happen. It doesn't need anything, any, any, energy, any energy to occur. It's going to happen. So the one I pictured here is would be the spontaneous oxidation of iron, or just basically the rusting of iron. So that nice, pretty car sitting there, uh, made of iron, you know, made of steel, but steel has iron. Uh, it's being, it's reacting with oxygen in the atmosphere, and it forms Fe2O3. So that happens. That's happening right now to my car right now in the parking lot. A little bit more than I would like, to, but it's okay. It still runs good. All right. But that's happening. Plus iron plus oxygen goes Fe2O3. And so what do we need? A two, a three. And then a six, a four, four. <coughs> a, uh, the opposite of the spontaneous reaction is a non-spontaneous reaction. Okay? So a non-spontaneous reaction is not a spontaneous reaction. I think that's what the non means, like in front. When you put the non in front, it means not. Okay? So that, of course, that would mean a little bit more... non-spontaneous reaction. It is a chemical reaction um, that requires, that has, to, that you have to put in energy for it to go. So will that rusty car in that uh, um, field ever spontaneously go back to a shiny new car? No. Okay, but can you do that? Can you fix that car up and put it back into uh, like new condition? Yeah, sure, but it's going to take some uh, energy. You're going to have to put some work into that uh, car to do that. And of course, that's true for how we get iron. You know, we're digging up iron. You mine for iron, most and most metals. You get them as minerals, most of the time as oxides, and we have to put a lot of energy and time into preparing them as iron or any other metal that we want. So a non-spontaneous reaction doesn't mean it can't happen. It just means you got to put energy into it for it to happen. Can we prevent spontaneous reactions from happening? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So you can uh, you can take steps to prevent um, spontaneous reactions that, from happening. Um, usually through like mechanical means, right. like if you have an iron car, you like keep it, you know, either put some type of, you know, paint that protects the metal from oxygen or, you know, wax to prevent, you know, keep the, basically keep the oxygen from hitting the iron so and colliding. Like, so the reaction will never take place. Yeah, as if that, I mean, first thing for a chemical reaction to hap happen, you know, they got to collide. So if you prevent that oxygen molecule from colliding with the iron, it can't oxidize it, yep. Or you could keep, or just think about kinetics, what else could we do? We could lower the temperature. So just always keep your car cold, like put ice over it. 
like while it's outside. Okay. Um, 